go check out some fabric for the living room at Joann's and see what they have. Sometimes they have Liberty print fabrics, which might be a good choice. We'll see. I'm also going to look at twill tape to make the Swedish blinds. So let's go. So I need one inch O-rings to thread the twill tape through. I chose these white plastic ones and I am planning to paint them so they don't look like plastic. I might even put rub and buff on them so that they look like metal. But I didn't want to get the D-rings. I didn't really like the look of any of the other ones they had. And I didn't want to order them online either because it, you have to buy like bulk packs. And it just seems sort of complex. I got three dowel rods as well. After Joann's, I decided to stop in a store that's like it's run by an interior designer that's local. I've never been in it before, but it caught my eye. And I decided to go in. I love these kind of stores. I usually can't afford much in here, these kind of places. I thought that was funny. But it's fun to go in and get inspiration. Just look at the way that they style things and the kind of wares that they have. I am in a town today that I don't usually get to, but... Um, it was just fun to go in and look around and like it's not exactly my style either it's a little modern but they still they had this just beautiful selection of little things and I loved seeing how they used baskets I love these baskets and these chairs were interesting and so I guess for me it's similar to um, looking at like the runway shows or what they have in my favorite catalogs before I go out thrifting for clothes it's cool to go in these kinds of stores and get inspiration for how things are styled and what kind of things they're showing. And then after that, perhaps go out to the thrift stores and you just sort of have all this percolating in your mind and it gives some ideas about how things could be styled. I love this frame. It was like a fern frame, gold fern, it's so lovely. And this fun little card it's just such a joy to look at all these things look at these trays they had all these lacquer trays that you could set you know like they had them set on top of coffee tables or ottomans for drinks and things like that so my little girl and I had a great time just sort of running through the store and they couldn't have been nicer people she really loved those moss decorative balls and this look at this is a vase it's really heavy so pretty i love those little rattan baskets with the glass tops and they had these little cards i might have to go back and get those are really cute they were like three dollars i love you bad i love you mucho poquito many foxes grow gray but few grow good i thought they were some really really fun little things and they were only three dollars a piece which Honestly, a lot of things in this shop I thought were super reasonable for the quality that they were. Sometimes I go into these kind of stores and I don't feel like it's super reasonable. <laughs> so a little decorative uh, wooden duck and a, more basket, basket trays. I love the idea of a basket tray, like putting a tea cloth on there and bringing some stuff out to, to serve. And look at these beautiful oven mitts. And um, I forget what the other thing was that. I love the colors. I love those red prints so much. This was some kind of sourdough bread thing. I do not do sourdough bread. I've, I've done artisan bread in five minutes a day for years, and my kids don't care for sourdough, so I don't make it. But I do make my own bread. These are salt and pepper shakers. And then they had all these scented candles. And look at that. This is a little vase. Oh my goodness, I love blue ware. It is so pretty. And these were some very nice scented candles too. They had a lot of mushroom themed things in this store. Those were like Christmas ornaments, stuffed mushrooms. I loved this garden apron. It was this heavy denim. And it had these really neat garden shears in the pocket. I would love to get something like this for my husband, but he's he's such an avid gardener. I, I, I think this would probably not be tough enough <laughs> for the kind of gardening he does. And I myself would probably like something a little lighter. They had these gorgeous boxes of really nice beeswax taper candles that were, you know, really reasonable too. I, I would definitely buy those. They weren't overpriced or anything. Look at this. An hourglass. 
so pretty. I could never leave that out on display, but I, it, would be, it would be destroyed by a child. But after our trip there, we went over to some thrift stores and it was interesting. Like all of a sudden I, I, I could see all these things in a new light kind of beautiful lampshade this is a really good quality lampshade it kind of drives me crazy how goodwill separates the lamps from the shades and charges separately for both but this is a really nice shade it's just i would have to know what lamp i could put it on and i don't bring my lamp measurements with me typically i should really start doing that but i'm aspiring to make my own pleated shades this is so i'm not really looking for lampshades but um wow i usually don't see ones of this nice at Goodwill but here we are so yeah just looking at these things after seeing how they had styled some really fine um, homewares at that other store I could really imagine taking these things and styling them and I'm certainly not opposed to buying things at like a fine home goods store but you know we've got five kids and other priorities so if your, you know creativity and just your own imagination don't cost as much so I, I find it kind of a fun challenge to decorate my home with thrifted and vintage finds but that doesn't mean that I don't like to go and get inspiration from these beautiful stores run by interior decorators in fact I think it's a great way to get inspiration look at that fun thing it's like a heart-shaped wreath for Valentine's Day after our trip to Goodwill, we decided to go to another consignment store. I was very inspired by that interior store. So we looked around at their home goods section. And of course, nothing is styled beautifully like in an interior store. But you can definitely start to imagine how things might look well together. And dare I say it, but a lot of the things that you can find secondhand at consignment shops are or Goodwill or thrift, um, it's similar to what you find in those stores because, you know, it's things people have gotten rid of. Now, you know, it's very much more hit or miss and you have to keep on going and keep on looking. The advantage of, of a interior design store like is, is uh, they have curated everything and they've got a, a point of view and a vision. But you you know if you're anything like me and if you're watching my channel you probably are you have your own point of view and your own vision and you kind of know how you want things to go in your house how you want things to look and if you don't quite know you're going to do the research to find out whether that research be like looking at beautiful interior design books or watching a youtube channel or um even going to a beautiful store and just looking around and seeing how they arrange things and getting inspiration from that. This is an old baker's rack that somebody spray painted gold and it looks pretty cool. I don't quite know. I, I could probably use one for plants or things, but I'm not, um, I'm not really in a buying frame of mind for the house right now, just because we have so many projects that are fundamental and the decorative aspects are, a little bit farther off at the moment but it is fun to look look they had these four wooden candle wall sconces and when we redo our dining room I would love to get some candle wall sconces for a Swedish look it could I was thinking I could paint those Swedish gray and put candles in them and it would just look lovely unfortunately I'm just not close enough to that project to justify buying anything like that right now but it does it, it does profit to go in and get ideas and inspiration. Window shopping is a wonderful hobby. <laughs> I really think so. And I think it's a, a planning your house and you know, planning your clothes like I like to do is a way of making things comfortable for your family and creating an environment for your children that they're going to remember always. Like, you know, however your house was run or looked or smelled um you know the kind of, of a particular sofa or couch you, these are things your kids are going to remember their whole life we all if you if you grew up in the 80s like i did you probably have a lot of memories of a certain kind of shag carpeting that was brown and orange uh, for example i love those heart-shaped nesting bowls by the way 
my little girl loved this 1920s um, couple very much. She really wanted to buy that, <laughs> but we refrained. But look at all these things that I, it would be a fun project to go into the interior design store and then be challenged to go honestly this consignment store was just around the corner from it challenged to go in here and collect things and put together a room just with things that you could find at the um, consignment store and I think I could have put together at least one small room for sure with for a quarter of a fraction of the price with things that I found at this store I really enjoyed this princess rules sign I thought it was a really good advice and look at this is a toilet paper roll holder I thought it was cute it's got pine cones I have one that's a giraffe that I'm very fond of so I do not need one but I love this basket I love the idea of putting um blankets in a basket and keeping it out I think that's such an inviting look so yeah, I do think that, you know, it, you don't have to spend a fortune to make your house look like a million bucks. And that's really my, you know, I, I won't say that I'm there with my house, but that's, that's my hobby. That's my joy. That's the direction that I'm going with it. And I do love to get inspiration from like a store or like House and Garden UK magazine is my favorite magazine. And, you know, the projects in there are they're for the you know the the wealthiest of the wealthy usually but that doesn't mean that you can't get ideas and really come up with a similar look even if um, your things aren't as didn't cost as much the or maybe sometimes the quality isn't you know the same or it's not handmade or but look at but you can get approximate the look or get close to the look and create an environment that brings you joy um because creativity is free that comes out of yourself and that is the big excitement of using vintage and thrifted in my opinion i love that little footstool so much and they had all these interesting rugs sort of piled up in a corner and um, sometimes I wish I had <laughs> more than one house to decorate because I just get so inspired with everything that you could do. I love these chindi rugs so very much. And they even had some pretty spring wreaths. I'm thinking that I would like to get some spring wreaths that are a little more permanent. I made mine this year from living flowers and they, they just don't last. Um, but the the artificial ones are kind of an investment they're sort of expensive um so we'll see it's something i'm i'm thinking about i know you can do a living wreath with real flowers but i'm just not quite there yet with any of my projects i liked this this was like a little for three little plants galvanized steel planters and like it's sort of tea tray with some really pretty teapots sort of a sucker for anything with the Eiffel Tower on it this was a little octagonal box very fun made of velvet um, all kinds of things that you can bring into your house and make it your own make it have a real character and real personality so I didn't buy anything that well I bought a few things which I'm going to show you um, so once I got home again this was the next day I love making espresso coffee in my Bialetti mocha pot it's called um, I love having strong coffee I don't always drink strong coffee but I was treating myself today I got this top at the consignment store it was something on my list I needed some summer tops so uh, and I do love blue and white and so I knew that when I found this one this was going to this was going to work out really well and I decided to treat myself to some milk in my coffee as well I don't usually do that either but Saturday morning and the Sun is streaming into my kitchen and it's just feeling really good and I'm going to enjoy it I'm gonna look at my beautiful shamrocks from st. Patrick's Day they are really loving this windowsill here and they're doing really really well the sunlight in my kitchen in the morning is so nice. It's an eastern facing room and it just streams in. 
Now I'm going to show you how I styled what I actually did come away with from the thrift store. I got this little blue and white cotton Indian chindi rug for $3. I love these little rugs so much for bathrooms because they're so easy to move around and wash. And I have some black and white ones upstairs. And this one, I, as soon as I saw it, I knew that it was the perfect colors for my downstairs bathroom. And it's just nice to have something underneath your feet in the morning, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't like to have too much carpet in the bathrooms, but this was just perfect. And $3, the price was definitely right. It was half off at the consignment shop. And I'm really pleased with it. At a different thrift store, I found this faux lantern thing. It was $3 and it is perfect I just love that verdigre like I guess it's supposed to look copper I love oxidized copper and I think I'm going to get some I would love to get a, like a large LED um, not LED but like a solar powered candle that would come on at night because I think it's meant to have like a gigantic candle in it isn't that sweet I just love it so much and I think it looks really well with um, the rest of the sort of eclectic bunch of things I've assembled on my front porch and I, I had a flash of inspiration I want to get some lavender for that pot the daffodils I put in there are not doing well I probably put them in at the wrong time so I think I'm going to grab some lavender and then once I was outside I was inspired to plant this beautiful lily that my husband bought me I've been afraid to plant it because I'm not much of a green thumb but I just went for it and um, wish me luck I hope it does well so please tell me what you think about styling thrifted finds. Do you love interior design shops? Where do you get your inspiration? I'll look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Have a great rest of your week. Bye for now.